Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do this on my lunch break, and you just don't want to know how many times I've tried to make this. So, I'm going to make this quick. Why I decided to stop my natural hair journey. This wasn't my first time going natural. Uh, I tried when I was pregnant with my daughter and it just didn't work out for me. I didn't have time, didn't have the patience and I was too tired because I was pregnant. So about six or seven months pregnant, I got a relaxer. Everything was cool. Hair was still growing fine and lovely cool. So in September, um, I got a perm and I was like, eh, why I keep doing this? I'm not ever gonna perm my daughter's hair. How am I gonna explain to her to wear her natural hair and I'm walking around with a relaxer, so. That was my last perm was in September. So I pretty much been wearing wigs, slowly cutting off the perm at pieces every time I wash my hair. Well, not every time, but maybe about every other time, depending on how frequently I was washing my hair, just cutting a little bit off at a time. Um, so I was going, my plan was on Saturday to go get a silk press. Um, Cause that's what I had been doing when I wasn't wearing my wigs. So I took my braids down and I started, you know, detangling and brushing and brushing. It took me three hours and I'm picky. So it took three hours because I'm picky and I want stuff to be a certain way. And then I still ended up giving up and it was still a tangled mess. I had different curl patterns going on. I had pretty curly up here. I had rough course back here. And I was just over it. I text my beautician finally later on that night. Um, I was like, yeah, I can't do this. We're, we're gonna have to perm this one. I'm changing it from a silk wrap to a perm. And she went through the, are you sure? I sent her this big picture of this big old puffy head. And she was like, oh my. And I was like, yeah, oh my. So I went ahead and got a relaxer, trimmed off some ends. Um, I get a little bit of breakage here and there, just natural perm or not, it doesn't matter. It's just me and my hair. So, um, I went, got the perm. So this is what it looks like. And I'm happy with it. For me not to have had a perm and for me to be scratching in my head, no chemical burn. Um, I have a little one, but that's because I have scratched my skin um, my, myself. Uh, when I was trying to detangle it. So I have like a little, like a little small, like literally small little piece at the back. Um, my hair is healthy. She got all that dead ends off. So I'm just gonna, you know what? My original plan with my hair before was I get perms like twice a year. Um, just to keep down on putting a lot of stuff in my hair and just dealing with stuff. But kudos to you natural women. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. I, I don't. I could deal with my daughter's hair. And I think that's just because I've been dealing with her hair since she was born. I've got it figured out. We're not trying to do any type of transitioning or anything like that. But me trying to transition, if I ever want to go natural again, I know I'm probably just going to have to cut all my hair off my head. My head's shaped extremely funny. All y'all get to see is a fat head front part, but I've got all kind of dents and craters and humps and lumps and all that in the back of my head. So shaving all my head off ain't gonna work. I, it's just not gonna work. Um, so if I ever decide to try it again, which I doubt I will, we'll just have to have a really short style and go from there. Um, transitioning was harder than I expected. The getting used to all the chemicals and all the products, not chemicals, but all the products and all the things trying to find for your hair and all that. I'm, I'm a wrap my hair up and go type of girl that I've always been that way. That's always been me. So that is why end of the day summary basically is I got a perm because I'm too lazy to deal with my hair. We're just gonna go there with that. That's just what it is. I'm the wrap my hair up, unwrap it and go. That's kind of where I'm at. And that's where kind of where I'm gonna stay for now. Um, I love natural hair. This is not a bashing natural hair kind of po uh, video. That's not it. This is just personal preferences. I can't do natural. I went back to the creamy crack. I didn't even make it a year, y'all. I'd be ashamed of myself. 
What am I gonna explain to my daughter when she gets older? Baby mama couldn't do the transitioning. I'm just gonna have to be blunt with her. But shout out to my hairdresser. Thank you, Katasha girl. Cause I can feel my scalp again. And my hair is still healthy. I'm not like, I'm running my fingers through it now and I'm not really getting any shedding. Like I noticed that I used to get a lot of shedding when I got perms. Um, but when I started going to the twice a year type thing, uh, my hair doesn't really shed as much. How do I maintain my hair in between perms? I go see my beautician is what, yeah, that's just what's gonna happen. So thank you guys for riding with me. Even though y'all just don't know, I might add some bloopers into this, but baby, me and this camera were struggling because I bought a little thing to put in my car, but it's not sticking well. And it's supposed to hold my phone, so I've got it rigged right now. But if you guys have any good ideas of what to use in your car to film, because I like filming in my car because the light is just wonderful. Um, and I'm always in my car for work doing different things. So if you guys have any ideas of what I can use for that, great. If not, like a comment, watch, like, and subscribe. And the next video you see, we will be going over the giveaway for this week. I'm excited. So I'm going to go eat my churches not healthy but it was quick it was cheap and i'm in a hurry so love you beauties we'll see you later